What is up? Bill here and thank you for stopping by for another video. Um, in my Did I Obtain a Fake Gold Coin video, I had people respond saying that I should have used measurement mode with the Sigma. I also had someone suggest using the uh, calibration coin under a sample. Um, and I even had some say I should probably read the directions and learn how to use the equipment I have, which is not far from the truth. Uh, <laughs> I have, for the sake of this video, read the instruction manual for the Sigma PMV. And let's get started. Let's put her in measurement mode. First thing I'm going to do is hold the sensor select and hit the power button while holding the sensor select button which will bring it up in measurement mode as you can see on the screen okay now pure silver uh, 395 pure silver should be what if I'm not mistaken 1.6 or 1.7 resistivity and it is 1.70 resist resistivity so we're good there now uh, this pure gold Britannia, uh, one ounce Britannia, uh, four nine fine, nine 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 point nine pure. So this is pure twenty four karat gold. Uh, should come up between two point four and two point seven, if I remember correctly, or two point one to two point seven. It's two point one six. Okay, so we have a known pure twenty four karat gold coin, one ounce coin coming up. 2.16 okay so that just gives us numbers um, let's look at a couple of gold eagles uh, this is a quarter ounce gold eagle and these are not 39 fine or 49 fine they are 91.6 pure gold so there are other alloys mixed with this to bring it to 22 karat gold so I suspect we'll probably get a little different reading uh, we do 7.34, 7.29, 7.27, so right in the 7.2 area, um, same 7.3, 7.3, 7.3, okay, so where's 7.3 with the quarter ounce uh, American Gold Eagle? What about the tenth ounce? Smaller coin, but the same alloy. Um, 91.6 gold. Let's see what we get with this. And we're getting 14.7. It's a very thin coin and it's very small. It's not covering the entire area. Let's try it with the wand. And see if we get into the same area. Uh, hit the run cow button, which I always forget to do. Let's see what happens here. Well, I'm not getting anything. That's odd. Oh, because I didn't go over to the right one. Duh. Uh, let's get the wand. There we go. Now the wand button's lit up. So, let's try the wand and see what we get. If we get anywhere close to the quarter ounce. And we do 7.58. So we're right at... 7.5, 7.6. So we're in the same ballpark. 7.5. We're in the same ballpark as the now 7.90, 7.9, That is the quarter ounce gold eagle, and the tenth ounce gold eagle is reading. 7.6, 7.63, so we're right in the same ballpark with measurement mode. So that's about right. Now, let's take the coin in question, 1865 franc, which we did determine in the last video that, well, when I scratch tested it, it tested as 22 karat gold. So we know it's 91.6, or it's marked here 90. Um, and it did test just under 22 karat. Uh, as I let the video sit, or that testing stone set, the 
22 carats started to fade ever so slightly, but the 18 carat held solid. So it is between 18 and 21 carat, which would put it about 90%. So what will we get with this sample on measurement mode? Um, will it be in the ballpark? No, it's right off the scale at 21.87. Okay. So I did read and this is very thin. This is much, much thinner than the uh, than the tenth ounce eagle. It's probably half the thickness of the tenth ounce uh, American eagle. So I did read the directions contained in the Sigma Metal Meta Meta, Meta <laughs> Sigma Metalytics, the PMV uh, user's manual, and it does clearly state that you can take a second test. In fact, I'll post those uh, directions up on the screen so you can see. You can take the disc and the calibration disc and put it between your sample and the wand. And let's see if we get a better reading using that method. And here we go. Well, it came down to 14. So, from 22 down to 14. And going from 91.6 to 90% gold, that sounds about right. Uh, put it back on there again. Now I'm down to 13. Um, so we're at 13.29 with that, and with this we are at 7.8. So, 14.1, uh, 13.9, that's not completely flat on the disc, so yeah, 13.7, 12.7, so, what do you think? Uh, we know <laughs> we know it's 22 karat gold, so I'm wondering if you could program this Sigma verifier to register whatever reading it's getting as uh, 1860 gold, 90% uh, gold. Um, I don't know. Uh, pretty interesting. Because if we go back to regular mode like we did in the previous video, it tests negative on all gold. Um, let's see. Let's go down to silver. Uh, go down to silver. There's silver pure, which we know this is not actually. We need to go back to gold because it's a gold coin. Uh, gold. 999 pier, which we know this is definitely not. Right off the scale is bad. Uh, the next test is 91.7, uh, which is just right at 22 karat gold. Uh, it tests right off the scale bad. Um, let's go to 90%, 90% gold, which this actually is, and it tests bad right off the scale. So, uh, American Gold Eagle, uh, right off the scale, uh, Krugerrand, right off the scale. So every preset gold setting in the Sigma shows it right off the scale, but when you do the resist resistivity, you're getting a pretty decent reading just above the... Uh, 10 karat gold uh, or the uh, 10th ounce eagle so I don't know guys I looked up uh, resistivity readings for pre-1900 coins I couldn't find anything uh, so measurement mode doesn't really tell me precisely that it is gold because I can't find what it should be reading anywhere on any website but it's not far above the uh, 91.6 gold readings on the Gold Eagle so 
that's it. Tried them all. Figured I would share the results. Uh, I welcome the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.